Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a tempo map of a full song in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with a bunch of guitars, a keyboard, and a bass. And all this was played or performed without a click. So the tempo varies quite a bit. Let's hear it. As you can tell, the tempo changes quite drastically. And I don't want to fix that timing. I want to create a tempo map to match it. So we can add other tracks to it, and it'll still play in time, along with quantizing any other MIDI we bring in. For example, I already created a drum performance to go with this. And I put it in a different project right here. But like I said, this performance is quantized. So if we copy it and paste it into the other project, it's not going to work because the drum part is quantized to the grid and these performances are not. <laughs> It's a mess. So let's undo that. And let's create a tempo map in this project. Now, if we change the tempo right now, over here, from 120 to something else, like 200, it changes the tempo of our performances. <laughs> And we don't want that. We want our performances to stay the way they are and just create a tempo map around them. So what we have to do is change some settings. Let's go up here to the project settings under time base for items and change it to time. So now if we change the tempo, it doesn't change the audio, but notice it still changed the MIDI. So we also have to have the MIDI items ignore tempo. So let's select them, right click, go to source properties, and choose ignore project tempo on all of them. And now if we change the project tempo, it doesn't affect the performance. So now we can create a tempo map around this. Now it's important to choose a guide track that will build our tempo around. And for this song, I think this guitar will work. Now the next thing we want to do is make sure all the audio and MIDI comes after bar two, which will leave us one bar of counting and we can start the tempo map a bit later, like bar three or four. But for this song, we'll use bar two. Just select all the items and move them manually anywhere after bar two. And the next thing we'll do is go up here to the view menu and choose tempo envelope. Then the master track opens up, revealing the tempo envelope, which we were going to create 
our tempo changes. Then we'll turn on snapping and our grid, and let's set it to half notes. We could use whole notes or quarter notes if you prefer, depending on how perfect we need it to be. But for this track, I think half notes will do. So with our grid and snapping turned on, we'll hold on the shift key and just click right here, and it puts a tempo marker right there. Let's zoom in a bit. Now we can move our tempo markers up here to match the performance. Hold on Control on the PC or Command on the Mac and just drag it and watch what happens. It readjusts the tempo over here. So we're going to make it line up with this first transient. Drag it to about here. And that'll adjust the tempo from the beginning to where the music starts, which should create an in time click. Let's hear it. Perfect. So now we could delete this one, hold on the PC, option on the Mac, and create it again. Hold on Shift. That'll just continue that same tempo. Then we could just add tempo markers one at a time. Hold on Shift and create one here. Readjust it to this transient, control on the PC, command on the Mac, and just do that for each one. Go to this one, do the same thing. And it does take some time to put these in, but it's going to be perfect in the end. Now it's important to note when we drag this with control on the PC or command on the Mac, it's going to affect anything going forward, like this. So if we grab one in between, like this, it messes up everything going forward. So instead, if we're adjusting ones in between, add in Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac. So on PC, it's Control Alt, and on Mac, it's Command Option. Grab it, and it just affects that marker, not this one or this one. So we'll just go through the whole song, readjusting each one to line up with our guide track, the guitar track we chose. As we can see, this tempo is a lot slower as the guitar slowed down quite a bit. Perfect. We'll just keep going through each transient, lining it up to the grid. This is what the tempo map looks like. Let's hear it against the click. So now, 
not only could we bring in the quantized drums, we could also quantize the Wurlitzer or the bass, because their timing could be perfect on a new grid. We could quantize it here, and it'll move the notes to be perfectly in time with our guide track guitar and the tempo map. So now let's bring in those drums. Go to the other project and copy the drum track and paste it in this project. And because it's MIDI, it should line up with the tempo map we created. Let's see it and hear it against the guide track. <laughs> Sounds good. So it's a great way of keeping the performance we played and creating a tempo map around it and still being able to add other tracks to it like MIDI and quantize those instruments. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create a tempo map for a full song in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.